the whole point of this is to reframe past pains, unprocessed emotions, uh, and negative basically moments from the past that are stuck in your energy body and they're affecting your aura, they're, they're getting in the way of your personality and they're not letting you be the authentic you. That's the problem and that's what I wanna help you do. Welcome to this video, my friend, True Bryant here. Now in today's video, I'm gonna give you the step-by-step -step walkthrough of how you can become a pro with shadow work all by yourself. Now, before we get started, click the link below to join the school community. We're gonna have about 100 people around the world, like-minded people in this amazing community. So join that if you want to, it's 25 bucks a month. That price will go up soon, so hop in now before that happens. Now, there's a five-step process I wanna take you through now. So have a journal out, get a pen, and I want you to walk through this with me because this is gonna change your life. Step one, is going to be think of something that you want to work on. Could be, you know, maybe you want more confidence. Maybe you're feeling pain from the past. Maybe you're having a negative thought loop. Maybe you're not able to get over a breakup. Maybe there was a moment in the past that, you know, and it doesn't also, it doesn't have to be just your inner child as well. I wanna make that very clear to you. It doesn't just have to be, you know, six-year-old you or 10-year-old you that you're going inside and having an imaginary talk with. It's not just that, it can be from three months ago. There can be unprocessed emotions from last week that need your attention, okay? So it's not just inner child, it's anything from before this moment and, and, and behind, right, in the past. So it's not just inner child, I wanna make that point clear. So step one is gonna be, think of something you wanna work on. Could be confidence, could be you know anxiety, nervousness, social anxiety, it could be a money block, it could be worthiness, it could be a bad self-image, negative self-talk, the list goes on and on. Self-sabotage is a big one. Even bad addictions that are holding you back from who you know you could be, okay? So once you have that thing you wanna work on, just pick one for this, and then you can go back and do it as many times as you want, all right? Number one, picks, you know, pick something or pick the thing you want to work on, right? Now, number two is you're going to actually close your eyes, take some deep breaths, like sitting in this chair like you are, okay? And you're going to actually invite this part to come into your awareness. You're going to invite this part into a conversation with you because you're going to bring the posture, bring the attitude of, hey, I just want to get to know this part, okay? Because... Funny enough, this part of you is actually just another aspect of you, which is also trippy and amazing, okay? So step three is you're going to enter into a dialogue with this part, all right? Now, the dialogue with this part is you're gonna basically be asking it questions. You're gonna say, hey, when did you start doing this for me? Hey, you know, what is your role? Hey, you know, can you, can you show me a few memories? that um, you were working on my behalf. And so this part is usually stuck in a role that it didn't really want to play in the first place, but it's been stuck in that role because you haven't gone in and done that deep dive inner work. Okay, and this goes for everybody. And I'm sure I still have parts left that I always need to go check in on. And uh, now it's different for me, but if this is where you are, having this step three, this dialogue is going to completely change your life, okay? Now, once you start that conversation, you're just gonna ask it questions. You're gonna be very relaxed. You're gonna have fun with this. Granted, you know, there may be pain that comes up. There may be uh, real, you know, traumas that it shows you. It, there may be abuse. There may be, um, you know, some rated R stuff that, this part takes you back and, and shows you. You're acknowledging whatever it's showing you, whatever it felt, if there was a moment or an, uh, you know, an emotion that it wants you to know that all that matters with this, with this acknowledgement on your end is you're gonna simply acknowledge this part and you're gonna let it know that you get it. You understand how painful that moment was. You understand how traumatic that was. Whatever that thing is that it's sharing with you, you're just gonna let it know, hey, I get it. You're gonna look it in its eyes. You're gonna, you might even hold its hand. You might give it a hug. But all you're doing is you're remaining present and loving to what this part is showing you. And you're acknowledging this part exactly as it is. You're not defending yourself. You're not, uh, you're not criticizing this part. You're not giving this part advice. That's very, very important. You are simply shutting up and listening to this part and acknowledging what it needs you to know and what it needs you to feel, okay? In the feeling is the healing, 
Now that's crucial, okay? In the feeling is the healing. So that means that you need to feel and stay with instead of coping and distracting yourself and stopping the process. Just stay in that. And this is where a lot of people get lost in shadow work because they're just too afraid, okay? So shadow work takes courage, okay? So step number four is acknowledgement, right? Step number five is you're going to integrate this part. Now, this is something that I do with my private clients one-on-one. -on -one. It can be much more easily done when it's one-on-one -on -one in the moment because each person is different, right? You have a different inner world than I do or anyone else. So step five, integration has to do with asking this part, hey, what would you rather be doing if you didn't have to be carrying this pain or carrying this burden or stuck in this role that you don't really even want to play at all? So if it could trust you more, because that's what the problem is in the first place, this part started doing something because it didn't trust you, it had to take over, it had to get pushed into this role, and actually it's been serving you best it knows how for all these years. All right. Now, in integration, you need to ask this part, hey, if you didn't have to do this, if you didn't have to carry these burdens, what would you rather be doing? And this part is going to tell you. This part is going to share with you what it would rather be doing inside of you. And you're going to integrate this part because, one, it knows that you see it now. And that's 95% of it. And the second thing is it knows that it doesn't have to be in that old role anymore. It can now have a new job, it can be free, it can tell you what it would like to do, and if you're okay with that, it can step into that role. For example, an inner critic usually becomes kind of like a consultant. Like, hey, I just wanna help you. I don't, I don't need to bitch at you anymore, but hey, if you have any questions for making you know, decisions in your life, then I want you to consult me, right? So that's an example of how a part can be integrated. And you can see the implications of just how amazing, amazing, this work is. So that's step number five, integration. Remember guys, the whole point of this work of personal development of self-help is not only to feel alive and to be your best self, it's also to feel whole, okay? Now shadow work is integrating all of these orphans, right? These parts of yourself that are not connected to you. They've lost touch with their father, their mother, right? And you are that archetype. You are the father and the mother to those parts within you. You are reparenting yourself. Now, I'm hoping this makes sense. I really, really hope you get this. Now, just to review, guys, you know, the shadow is a crucial piece of who you are, your personality, okay? And unless you spend time with the shadow and integrate these parts and feel and heal this major part of your personality, I can genuinely share that I, I was not happy and I don't think, I believe firmly that I don't think anyone can be happy until they do this work and they integrate their shadow, okay? I don't believe anyone can be happy. And that, that's a belief. That's something that I, that, I, that I know to be true. And you're free to disagree with me, but I just ask you to, uh, it's an invitation, right? It's an invitation to explore more of you and not be so afraid, not be so nervous about the darker or the, the more shadow elements that may be repressed by you. Because those are actually the parts that make you so unique and beautiful and magical, okay? So if you liked this video, if you found value in this video, give it a like, share it, um, drop a comment if this helps. And if you go through this five-step process, drop a comment, let us know how it goes. And as always, take care of yourself.